Hi everyone, I hope you are having a lovely Sunday. I am super excited because today I am sharing with you my current favorites. Now I didn't do this video last month because I felt like I didn't have enough new things, but now today I have um, 12 things in front of me. I may have mentioned one or two of them before, but there are some new things I have not mentioned at all, so I'm super excited to share that with you. I will try my best to link anything down below in the description box if you're interested, especially things that are available at Sephora because they are having um, their VIB sale, I think it's called, that started on the 26th, so depending on your like status at Sephora, you can get between like 10 and 20% off items, so if anything's interesting to you, um, I will do my best to link that in the description box. I also want to take a moment to remind you that I do have a giveaway going on, my 4,000 subscriber giveaway that is going on through May 8th, and that is Open International, so I will leave a link to my giveaway video where I show all of the prizes and also give you information on how to enter. It's super easy. You pretty much just have to be subscribed and leave a comment and all that, so check that out if you have not yet already, but let's get started because we have a lot to talk about today. So I kind of laid everything out in front of me in like order of like how I use things and stuff like that. So I'll start with like what I do with like skincare and stuff. I have just a couple skincare items. The first is a body item. This is by Amanda Kadar, and this is the, their champagne charcoal scrub. This is a, a body exfoliant, and I love this. I got this in my Fat Fit Fun in March. I believe everyone got this. Correct me if I'm wrong. So everyone that got the Fit Fun did. Um, if not, I feel bad because this is so freaking awesome. This smells so good and it leaves your body feeling so soft. I'm all about exfoliating. There's actually like two exfoliating products I'm talking about today. Um, but this one is for the body and it is, like I said, a charcoal scrub. So it's supposed to help detoxify. And you can see like, I've used a lot already. This is like a big jug too. How much comes in here? 520 grams. Like this, like I use this like a few days a week at least. Like you can kind of see my fingerprints from my shower just a little bit ago. I used it today. I especially like using this Oh, sorry, I had to take a sniff. It smells so good. I especially like using this um, when I shave my legs. I feel like when you exfoliate, you get like definitely a closer um, shave. So this stuff is awesome. I use it on days I don't shave too. I would say I, I was using it like every day, but I decided to start using it just like three to four times a week. So it lasts longer for me. I don't know the price of this, to be honest. Uh, but like I said, if I can find it online, I will definitely link it below and I'm sure I can find it. Um, but I love this stuff. So next I wanna talk about a facial scrub. I'm still using my Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion, like a uh, deep exfoliator twice a week, but I found that I still need a little bit of gentle exfoliation on other days. I really find that my makeup applies so much better when I use an exfoliator, so I wanted something gentle. And I actually got this done for me and I'm so happy. This is by Teamy. this is the Green Tea Facial Scrub. And I use this today as well. I tried to use pretty much all the items I'm talking about. I think I use everything but like two items. Uh, not like that matters, I use these all the time, but just so you know, um, I use this today. So this is a very gentle exfoliator. I actually use this like on my chest and neck too, so it's okay for the body. Um, and this is made from organic ingredients, which is super awesome. So, and it's made from like cane sugar and glycerin. Glycerin helps hydrate the skin, so I feel like my skin is healthier and more hydrated after. And I just feel like my skin has been improving since I started using this about two and a half weeks ago. I love it. Like before that I was using like this gentle um, cleanser and I felt like it wasn't doing much and I actually started to break out. But since I've started using this, I haven't noticed any new breakouts. So it's made with like organic um, green tea matcha. It has like a light scent. You could see I've put a little bit of dent into it, but I feel like this will last a long time. I've honestly been loving it. And they actually make this in Florida, which I think is super cool. I was just reading a little bit about it. So yeah, you can use this either daily or just a few times a week as your exfoliant. So like I said, this was sent to me. Um, they also sent a discount code. I believe you get 25% off. So I'll definitely leave the link to this below um, along with that discount code. I think it's like KBOX25. Uh, but definitely check that out um, if you want. But yeah, I have been absolutely loving this and I feel like my skin is looking good. Um, and it's also vegan and cruelty free, which is um, really important to me. I'm trying to be um, using all of the, those items, even though I realize something I'm talking about later in this video is not, but I love that this is. It makes me feel much better about using it. It's like doesn't have a long list of ingredients, which is awesome, but 
yeah, I've been loving this. Definitely recommend it. And now the next thing I'm talking about is a moisturizer. And this we received in our box of looks, but I just, in March, but I just started using it um, in April, I would say, probably the very beginning of the month. And this is the It Confidence in a Cream. And people rave about this stuff and I can tell why now. So this definitely leaves my skin super hydrated and I feel like it does kind of minimize like my fine lines. What does it say it's supposed to do? Yeah, it says it's for, uh, tra it's transforming, it's anti-aging. So the anti-aging part, that is, does seem to be true. This is like a sturdy, like heavy thing too. And a little bit goes a long way. So I use this on my face, neck, and chest. Um, and you can see I put like a little dent in it, but it was full all the way, which I really appreciate. You know, sometimes when you get products, they're not like that. So yeah, I've been loving this. And everyone I've talked to that also received it in their Rax Deluxe and even before then, love it too. So. Love that. And now I'm going to talk about a complexion product. This is the one item that I realize is not cruelty free. I think pretty much everything else is. Um, but this is the L'Oreal the um, Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I have talked about this in my favorites before. I just thought I should mention it again because I actually just repurchased it. Uh, you can see I used one up. So I'll probably um, talk about this again in like an empties video. I've started to collect my empties. So um, look forward to that in the future. When I get enough stuff, I will do that video. But I love this stuff. Um, when I repurchased it, it looks like the new bottle is like a little bit darker, but maybe it's just because this one's like empty, but this stuff seriously lasts all day. It's only $11.99. Um, I just picked mine up from Target actually when I was on a Target trip the other day. Uh, and I just love it. It lasts all day. It doesn't really look cakey, but it has, provides a lot of coverage. I would say it's like medium coverage, but you can build it up to full. Um, I just keep it like with one layer and I use my beauty blender and I freaking love this stuff. So I thought it deserved to mention again. So I have another item that we received in our Boxy Luxe and this is the Cover FX um, face palette, the Perfector face palette. And oh my God, you guys, I have been wanting to show you this. Look, I hit pan on something. I never hit pan. So I heard a lot of people saying that they don't use the finishing powder in here because it looks like there might be some glitter in it, but it does not show up as glitter in your face. It does look a little bit luminous and it makes your skin look really healthy, which I love, but it doesn't look like glittery. So if you haven't tried it out, try it out. It's awesome. Um, I've been using that for a lot. I haven't really used it um, since I received something else, which I'll talk about next in just a moment. But I use everything in this. I love the blush. Um, I use the contour all the time too. And I do like the hot, there's three highlight shades, which I like. And look at this huge mirror. This is perfect for travel. Like I love this. I love cover effects. I know they just came out with like these new like blush and bronzer, uh, like I think they're like duos. There's like two in each packet and they look so beautiful. And since I've loved this, I'm definitely eyeing that. But yeah, these are awesome. So it comes in this light um, to medium and is this light to medium? Yeah, light to medium. And then they have a medium to dark palette as well. Loving that. Uh, ever since I got my Tri Beauty Box in the beginning of this month, my the face powder that I've been going to is by The Balm. It's the Sexy Mama Translucent Powder and I love it. So it says this is anti-shine translucent powder with tiny oil absorbing spheres. And this is what it looks like. There is a mirror in here too, which is great if you want to keep it in your purse or anything. But I really do think this is helping my oil. Like I feel like I was like more shiny in a lot of my videos probably before and it's even hotter now in Florida. And I think this really helps. And I'm psyched because Florida is really hot. I'm in this Southern part of Florida. It's like, but I think the high is like probably like 89 today or something, you know, like, and it's April still. But I freaking love this stuff. I can't say enough about it. Um, I use it every day, like I said. So yeah, this stuff's awesome. The next thing I have in front of me is a blush palette. And this is by a new brand for me. This is Lovecraft Beauty. I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So there are three blushes in here and a mirror, which is awesome. And I have been able to get all three of the blushes to work. I've been using this all the time um, since I got it pretty much like two, three weeks ago. Um, my favorite shade is Elfida and that is what I have on today. So that's like the lighter shade, but I do like that there's like a peach in here cause I don't have like anything like that in my collection. And then this one's a little bit darker. I like them so much. So like I said, I have Elfida on my face today. Uh, I really like these. I really want to try other things that they've got. Um, some people got a bronze palette that looks just like this. Um, obviously bronze shades inside. Uh, and I'm curious about that. If you guys got the bronze palette, let me know. Do you guys love it as much as I love the blush palette? I have another item from the balm. This also came in the Tri Beauty box. This is, I think, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, this is the um, the, Man the Manizer Sisters, the Luminizer. So this has like 
three highlight shades. I actually use these on my eyes too, but I love the Mary Luminizer, which I've heard so much about. This is like an OG highlighter that people love here on YouTube at least. Um, and I have that on my face today. And I actually have this like darker shade here. This doesn't really work on my face, but I use it on my eyes and I have that in my crease and I love it. And I actually put the um, pink shade on my lid and I use this all the time, like on my eyes and my face. So this has been awesome. There's a mirror in this too, which is really cool, but I love these shades. Um, but now that we're talking about eyes, so I told you the two shades I have in my eye. I also use my um, Kaja Moon Crystal in, uh, what color is this? In Goddess on my eyes today. This is a first impression. If you didn't see my video from yesterday where I talk about my um, influencer box box I just got, the Fresh and Fab box box. I don't know why that's hard to say right now. Um, I'll link that down below, but I love this stuff. I think it was $18, so it was super easy to apply. It's like put it on my hand and then dabbed it on my eye, and I think it looks beautiful. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Uh, but I just thought I'd mention that since I just used that and I'm talking about my eyes right now, but yeah, I love this highlighting palette. It's pretty small too, which is really convenient. Next up is something I just purchased on my own. Like I think I opened it in a haul video and it's the first time I used this, which is shocking because everyone has this stuff. This is the MAC uh, Fix Plus. I love this stuff. First of all, it has like a really pleasant scent. Second, I use it to set my face every single day pretty much since I got it and I love it. And like, like I said, I use it every day, but it's like only like a little bit is gone, which is awesome because I think this stuff is like $26. Um, so this is definitely something I might consider getting at the Sephora sale just because I know I'll eventually run out and it's a sale and makeup doesn't go on sale often. You probably know that, but I love this stuff. I get the rave. I haven't really used it like for my eyes. You know, some people spray their brushes for like glitter fallout and stuff like that. Um, I've been using it as an actual like uh, setting spray and it works well. I have another item by MAC here. This is um, the MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and I love this. I have it on my eyes. I used it to set, um, to use it as a primer for my eyes today, and that's what I do pretty much every day, and I love it. This is what it looks like. So I get, like I said, I got it in Painterly. Um, this is another item I got on sale. I think it was during the Ulta sale. So this is another item. It's $22. This will last forever. Like just a little bit goes a long way. Just put my finger in there and then dot it on my eyes. Um, so this will last a long time, but like it's $22, so definitely something I would get on sale just because it is expensive, but it will last a long time, so I don't know. I've been loving this. And then last I have two lip products. One is by Ofra, and I got this in an Ofra mystery bag. First I was like, well, shoot, where did I get it? Um, I got this in Pasadena. This is one of their long-lasting liquid lipsticks, and that is what I have on my lips today, and I love this color. Um, a lot of you guys have complimented me on it, so thank you, but this is awesome. I love it so much. I'll just do a little swatch even though it's on my lips right now. It's so pretty. It really is long-lasting. I think this would look good on so many skin tones. Look how pretty that is. I seriously wear this almost every day, but when I'm not wearing this one, I wear my one um, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood, and we received this in our Allure box this month, and a lot of people were saying it's too light. Here, let me swatch it for you. I've worn this, um, like I said, the days I haven't been wearing Pasadena. But it's not really too light, but the trick is to wear a darker liner underneath. So I like um, use like a much darker liner and then I put this on top and it makes it a little bit darker and it just looks beautiful. So yeah, these are my two current go-to shades. I've just been loving them. And I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about today. I love all these items. I seriously use them almost every day. I have them pretty much all on my face and body today. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. What are your favorites this month? I would love to know. Um, like I said, I'll try and link everything. I will link my video from yesterday if you're interested in learning more about what I received and also my giveaway video link. So yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Definitely let me know if you did anything fun or if you didn't, just hung out at home like me. I've been home all weekend pretty much. But anyways, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.